what we're going to do with it is do a delicious red pepper and red onion salsa. So my red pepper, I'm going to grill on the hob here. Now you could grill this at home. Um, the, the good thing about the gas is that it gives that nice charred flavour. So I'm just going to sit it on here and let it cook away for a few minutes. Now, if you were doing it in the oven, you would do it at about 180 degrees for about 10 minutes and that would release all the delicious sweet flavours that we're going to put in the salsa. The other important ingredients in our salsa are some spring onions and I've got a few green beans and I'm just going to sl slice them up into some biggish sort of pieces because I want to have um, I want to have them having a nice texture with the uh, salsa. So I'm going to put this into my bowl. Now I've got here some cider vinegar, which is quite a mellow vinegar, a little bit of uh, apple flavouring. So I'm just going to pour this in, and that is going to uh, macerate the, the onions and soften them. Now I could use just some lemon juice, and that would be fine as well, but the lemon juice I want to reserve for the cooking of the fish. So with my uh, red onion, I'm just going to, I don't need all of this because it is going to be too, um, too dominant in the salsa. I'll just take that outer skin off, and I'll just do some thin slices, and Place this in with my spring onion. So to this little mixture, I'm going to uh, just add a little bit of salt and sp sprinkle that on top and just let this sit for a five or ten minutes while I organise the rest of the meal. Smells coming off of this sort of sweet and charred flavour of the, 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 the capsicum. Now, um, over here, I have a uh, potato uh, mixture with sour cream and a bit of mustard and some red peppers, again, which I'm with. It's the same, the same red peppers that I'm using for the salsa. And I'm going to use this um, as my starch with the fish. It's essentially a potato salad, but I'm going to grill it. I'm going to put this under the salamander. Now I'm lucky here because we have a, a nice, powerful salamander that we use in a commercial kitchen. Um, but at home, of course, you have a grill in your oven, so you can use that as well. So this will take about uh, seven to 10 minutes just to warm through. Uh, here's my pepper. I think I've got that black enough now. So I'm just gonna take a little cling fill and wrap that up and uh, let it sweat. Uh, it will, it's, it's pretty hot to touch now, but it will soften up. And as it sweats, I'll be able to rub off the exterior burnt skin. So we'll leave that there. Now we're going to cook our fish. Uh, the method that we use for cooking the fish is a very simple method. And really the fish should be left until the last minute, until everything else is ready, because it only will take two to three minutes to cook. So I'm gonna take my fish, and over here, I've got my pan. I've got it on a medium heat in, on the flame. And um, I'm going to do a mixture of a bit of rice bran oil um, and butter. Uh, butter's always controversial. But it really, when you're looking at fish, Butter is by far the most complementary ingredient for the fish. And then with this method, I'm just going to place the fish gently in the pan. So I just put a little bit over. Now you'll notice I haven't added any salt yet. The salt will come at the very end, as will the lemon. This fish is so fresh that it really 
takes very little time to cook. Sizzling away. Then we're going to lift this under the grill now. I'll just have a look at my potatoes. They're grilling away. There's a nice little gratiné there. So I'm just going to rest those underneath. And in here I will put my fish. Now that fish is only going to take a very short time. Now with my salsa, uh, I'm going to add my red pepper so I can just squish this. It's still quite hot. Blackened skin. It, uh, now the, another thing to watch with the salsa is that, or with the red peppers, is that they do have this delicious juice inside and if I just make a little incision down the bottom here yeah, that's hot and you'll see some of that juice pouring up that's going to add some nice extra flavor to our salsa knife I don't want the seeds so they can come out and I don't really want the black because the black will give you know a bit more of that bitterness I just scrape that little bit off and then just with my knife just slice some thin slices into the salsa now again I need to just put a little bit of salt on there and uh, sprinkle that over Flick it through. Now my secret ingredient with this is this delicious olive oil that we have from Banks Peninsula, from near Devotional uh, Acro. It's called La Toscana, and it has been grown locally. Um, and I think we're all surprised at the colour of it and the ability of Acro to be able to ripen olive oil to this level. So I'm just pouring that over. Now this olive oil is extra virgin and it doesn't require uh, cooking. It's what I'm going to do is just just give it a tiny little uh, heat through in the juices of the fish. Now here's my fish. So just a little salt. You sea salt is good. And then I'm going to use some lemon. So the lemon is just going to go over the top at the last minute. So to plate this up I'm going to take my gratin of potatoes and I'm going to place this in the middle of each of these plates. I'm just going to lift this over. So now this is where I'll take my salsa and just spread some of it into the pan. Now I've also got some uh, French beans, little green beans. Just taking the tips of those off and I'm going to chuck them into my pan. Now at this point I'm going to just have a quick taste because it's important to make sure it tastes okay. If it doesn't taste okay, it's no good for anyone. Take my beans off. Um, now these are reasonably al dente. And then with the salsa, I'm just going to pour this on the top, let it run off, a bit on, on each fish. Flavour's coming off the pan right now, and I'm just going to pour over the balance of the, the butter sauce. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of pepper on top, because I think freshly ground pepper just finishes off a meal. 